Hey you guys, I am here tying my shoes, getting ready to do this Monday workout. I'm so excited for this one. You actually do not need any equipment today except your mat. We are doing an all body weight workout, so no dumbbells required, just your mat. Here's what we got today. Of course, we got that warm up. It's a new warm up because it is Monday. From there, we're gonna go into a strength circuit that will be a six by three. What that means, six exercises. We're gonna perform those six exercises for 45 seconds the first time through, 45 seconds the third, second time through, and the third time through will be more like that turbo quicker round where each exercise is only 30 seconds. We're gonna take those moves back to back to back so there's no break in between until we finish up the round. We take a quick break and then we get right back to it for those durations, 45, 45, 30. So that six by strength circuit is gonna be the brunt of our workout today. That is gonna take up the most time in our workout. I know a lot of times repeating can get kind of um, monotonous maybe, but what I like about repeats is that you know exactly what's coming. So each time that you're doing it, each consecutive time, you can think about being a little bit more effective in the exercise. Maybe speeding up your tempo, maybe getting a little bit deeper into some of those moves. When you know what's coming, you can prepare your body, you can prepare your mind and really push through. So that is a big advantage to repeat. So we got that six by three. From there, we're gonna go into a little cardio core circuit to finish things off. So after that body weight strength, we're gonna get a little bit of cardio core at the very end and then our cool down. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get to it. If you are tracking, go ahead and start that tracker. Go ahead and come up. Let me start the music. Excuse me, start the timer. I do have music going again. I've been a little risky because I just don't like working out when it is so silent in here. So I got a little music going in the background and hopefully Facebook is okay with that. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started in a march right here. Just that walking pace, marching it out. But lift that knee up as you do. Think about squeezing from the backside, using those hip flexors here to pull. We've got seven, six, five. We're gonna head down for some cat cows in three, two, one. One, here we go, come on down. I'm gonna adjust my screen a little bit. Here we go, here we go. Come on down for those cat cows, down to the knees, down to the hands. You're gonna arch up and then release that arch and go into that dip. Good, arch it up for that cat. And then from there, dip. A few more right here. Get the movement, the mobility through the spine, the shoulder blades. Spend as much time as you need each here. We got five and four. All you're gonna do is tuck those toes and we're gonna lift into that bear in two and one. So that bear hold, toes are tucked and just lift those knees for 10, nine, eight. Straight from here, you're gonna lift those hips up, legs go straight into that down dog in five, four, lift three, two and one. Lift into that down dog. You can paddle right here. You can just hold whatever feels good to you. Nod your head no. Shake your head yes. We got five in four. Dip those knees back down to that bear in three, two, and one. Bend those knees back down, flat back. Hold bear 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Straight up, down dog in three, two, and one. Again to that down dog, press back. You can give yourself that pedal. Woo! One more time to that bear in five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees for bear, holding 10, nine, eight, seven, six. We're gonna drop the knees, no down dog this time. Drop those knees in three, two, and one. Drop the knees, and then back to that cat cow. A shorter time here, we've got eight, seven, six, five, You've got four, three, two, and one. Now from here, just lift straight up and start to walk it in. We're gonna roll it up one vertebra at a time. Once you come up, head, neck, and shoulders, we're gonna take it to those squats. Right here, body weight squats down and up. A few more squats right here. Really focus on setting back into those hips. We've got 10. We have jacks to finish up our warm up. We jack it out in five, four, three, two, 
And one right here, jack it out. 20 seconds in these jacks and warm up is done. From there, I'll give our demos on our six by three strength circuit. We got 10. We've got seven. Here's four, three, two, and one. Yes. All right, you guys. Six by three is our circuit here. Six exercises. Here are the six. We're going to go into one and a half squats. What that means, you're going to go all the way down in a squat, about halfway up, all the way back down in your squat, and stand. One and a half squats. From there, we're going to take it into a left side lunge, knee pull. Side lunge. Knee pull, I almost tripped myself up. Now if I'm that left side lunge with that balancing knee pull, we're gonna turn to the left and go into those split squats right here. Now I do have a little surprise for you on those split squats that I don't wanna tell you just yet. Then from there we're gonna square up, we're gonna go into that right side lunge knee pull. You could just turn, but I don't want my booty to the screen, so I'm gonna adjust those feet and we'll go into those split squats. Then from there, our sixth move is a push-up with an alternating knee tap. So you're gonna come down to your mat, one push, and then it's knee tap across, knee tap across. You can also perform the push up from your knees, pop up to your toes, and then give yourself those alternating knee taps. Two, two knee taps to one push. All right, you guys, we're gonna go in 20 seconds. That's gonna get us to a fresh minute. It's easier for me to track time that way. So in 15 seconds, that new minute begins, and we will start with those one and a half squats in 10. Here we go. We've got seven and five. Let's go in four, three, two, and one. It's all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, and stand. Now, once you get the gist and the pattern going here, you can speed it up. But what I don't want you to do is turn that half lift into a bounce. It is not a bounce. It's a controlled lift. Controlled lower, and then that press straight up. Stay with me, you guys. We've got about 25 seconds right here. Half up, all the way down, all the way up. Half up, all the way down, all the way up. 15 seconds. We got 10. We're going into that left side lunge with that balancing knee pull in four. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Left side steps wide. Push off. Drive it up. Left side steps wide. Push off. Drive it up. Keep going here, y'all. First time through, kind of getting our body still kind of in that warm-up phase of things here adjusting to the work that we're doing. Second and third time through is where we really have the opportunity to push. We've got nine. We take it to that left side split squat. Left foot forward, right toe back in four, three, two, and one. Adjusting here, left foot forward, right toe back. Let's go into that split squat all the way down, all the way up. You're here for 12, 11. We're gonna hold it low in 10. Woo, here we go, holding it low. In five, four, three, hold low, two, and one, hold it low. All right, here comes the tricky part. That back leg, bring the toe in, step the toe back. Bring the toe in, step the toe back. Good, now I'm slightly leaning forward to kind of counterbalance, putting all of my body weight in that front left heel. Back toe in and out for another six. Five, this is that surprise I told you was coming. Four, in three, right side lunge in two, and one. Here we go, stand up, right side lunge, right knee pull. Woo! Find that balance, squeeze that core over and up. In that side lunge, left leg stays straight. Hinge that hip over and down to the right, and then push off and pull that knee up and in. We got 15 seconds right here, 15 seconds. We're going to that right side split squat. You can either turn into it or adjust those feet to face back forward. In five, 
four, three, two, and one. Bring your right foot forward into that full range down and up. In eight, we hold it low. In six, here's four. Take it low. Hold three, two, and one. Hold low, hold low. Chest is up. We're going to move just that back left toe in and out. In three, two, one. Now I'm slightly leaning forward. Left toe comes in. Left toe steps back. Left toe comes in. Left toe steps back. This is a lot about that balance and core control. It's a lot about keeping the weight back in that right glute, setting low. We got this five. In four, push-ups, three, two, and one. Here we go, hands down, toe step back. One push to two knee taps. One, two, one push. Knee taps, one, two. Shifting that body weight, redistributing the body weight at the diagonal for that alternating knee tap. One, two, woo! Almost there, y'all, almost there. Only 15 seconds remaining here. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, down in two, and one. Oh. Breathe right here. Woo! This is that break that we knew was coming right here. We're gonna take full advantage of these breaks. It might be body weight, but it is not easy. Grab your water. We have about 40 seconds here before we hit that second time through. So now you know exactly what it looks like. 30 seconds. Woo! One and a half squats is where we start. Nice deep breaths. Here we go, 15 seconds. Squat all the way down, half lift up, all the way back down, all the way back up in eight. Here we go, one and a half squats in five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, squeeze, stand tall. Really set back into those hips, keep the core tight. One thing I want you to think about in these squats is not letting that rib cage flare open. I want you to think about keeping it nice and tight, squeezing in, down, half up, down, and up. 20 seconds, left side lunge, coming up next. Half up, all the way down, and lift. We got 10, eight, five, four, three, left side lunge, two, and one. Here we go, to the left, knee pull balance. To the left, knee pull balance, woo! Now whatever feels most natural with those arms, sometimes I kind of think that like runner, runner's arms feels best here. But you do whatever feels good to you. Maybe both arms come forward, push back, lift, whatever works here. We got 15 seconds. Are you feeling the burn in that left leg? Yes. 10. To that left side, split squat, left foot forward in five, four, three, two, and one. Left foot forward, right toe back, and here we go. Down and up. Down and up, yes, stay with it. Eight, seven, holding that right knee low in five, four, take it low, hold three, two, and one. Hold it low, hold it low. You can lean forward, here comes that back right toe. Tap forward, tap back. It's small, controlled. Tap forward, tap back, tap forward, tap back. Stay low, stay low, 15. In, out. In, out, we've got eight. I know it burns. Right side lunge. In four, three, two, and one. Stand up, we're going to the right. Here we go, side lunge. Knee pull balance. Woo! <sighs> 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 
Stay with it here, y'all. Stay with it. And up and balance. Really push off that right heel. Lift, engage those abs to stop the momentum from continuing going to your left. Pull, squeeze. 15 seconds. Right split squats. Coming up, right foot forward. In 10, either turn or adjust those feet. In five, four, right foot forward. Three, two, and one. Here we go, right foot forward, left toe back, and down, and up. Down, up. Here we go, we hold it low. In four, three, take it down, hold two, and one, hold, hold. Back left toe, forward and back in three, two, one. Bring it in, tap back. Bring it in, tap back. I know it's hard. I know it burns. Keep pushing. It can be small. It can even be not at all. If you're just not quite ready for this tap, that's okay. You can stay in that full range split squat or you can stay in the hold. Almost there, y'all. 10, eight. We take it to those push-ups. This time, instead of a knee tap, a shoulder tap. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go, bring it down. No knee tap this time, you have a shoulder tap. Instead, you can perform those push-ups from the toes or from the knees. No shame. My favorite Peloton instructor says, no ego, amigo. Do what you gotta do. Push yourself to be successful through the exercise. One of my goals as an instructor, I never want anyone to feel defeated by my workout. I want you to know that as long as you are getting the basic movement here, the basic exercise, as long as you continue to move, you are successful in my eyes. I hope you are successful in your own. Here we go, 10. We take that break in seven, six. Last one, I'm gonna try to stay on my toes, four. Three, two, and one. Drop it down, breathe. Woo! Second round, done. We have that third round left, and it's that turbo round. So everything we do, shorter this time. Only 30 seconds each. So you know exactly what it is. You have that opportunity here to really push. Shorter duration, but maybe try to up your tempo a little bit in each of these. Or maybe in those squats, get a little lower, a little deeper each time you take to the bottom. In that side lunge, a little lower out to the side, okay? Lots of ways that you can challenge yourself here. We're gonna go in 30 seconds. Grab yourself some water, take a couple of deep breaths here. We still have about 25 seconds before we hit that third and final round of this strength circuit. One and a half squats, begin in 15. Here we go, in eight, one and a half squats. In five, four, here it is, last time through. Three, two, one, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, and all the way up, down, half, down, up. 20 seconds. 15, we go to that left side lunge, that balancing knee pull, in 10, We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, left side. Knee pull up, squeeze. Left side, knee pull up. Woo! 20 seconds. Almost there, y'all. Left side split squat. When you get there, just hold in eight, Left foot forward, just that hold. In five, four, three, two, and one. Turn into it, just hold, get low, get low. Come on, get low, drop it. Chest is up, hands to the hips if you can. It's down and up, pulsing three, two, and one. Tiny little pulses. So not moving that back toe this time, just pulsing down and up. Come on, come on. We come up, we go to that right side lunge in eight. Stay with it, stay with it. You got six, five, right side lunge in four, three, two, 
and launch myself a bit to the right and up. Ooh. 20 seconds. Lift, squeeze, hold. Down and over. Hello, child. No at that time. 10. Did you finish at that? What you got? What do you want? Seven, six, five. Your daddy's in the living room. Go get him. Three, two, and one. Turn for that right side. Split squat. Get low. Hold. And false. Are y'all kids like that? I mean, I understand that all summer I've been the only one like home during the day, but it's currently Sunday at our house, and their father is probably just sitting down. He probably walked by him to come in here to me. Ugh. It never fails. <laughs> As I lose my balance. <laughs> Eight, keep pulsing. Seven, six, five, four. Just get to plank in three, two, one. Just get to that plank. We have one push. Join me now. Knee tap each way, shoulder tap each way. One push. Knee, knee, shoulder, shoulder. One push. Knee, knee, shoulder. Shoulder, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back, child's pose, breathe. Ooh. That was it, that was that six by three circuit. Now I know I added a little bit in there. I know I changed it up on us a little bit, but we gotta keep doing that. We gotta keep our body guessing and continually, continuing to challenge ourselves in new ways. You guys, this was the first time ever that I had taught those split squats with that toe tap. So let me know what you thought of it. I did it in a workout earlier this week, and I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a new one. So I hope y'all liked it too. We are moving on to some core cardio. Let's take a little breather, grab you some water. We have three rounds of this core cardio as well, but it's only made up of four moves. So these four are all plank, not plank based, excuse me, core based core focused, but we're gonna do them for rep count instead of time. So here are the four moves we've got. Walking planks. This is where, I'm gonna move my mat this way to the camera. This is where we set up plank on one side of your mat. You have two steps over, two steps back. You guys, in our rep count here, each step counts as one. So you're gonna go two there, two back, and that's already four, okay? For the first round, your rep count is gonna be eight, so you're gonna go there, back, there, back, okay? Then you've got eight plank jacks, out, in, out, in with those feet. You're gonna turn it over to your back. It's eight bicycle crunches. Left and right is one, so it's really a total of 16, but eight sets of bicycle crunches. Then, from those bicycle crunches here, you're gonna come up to your tailbone, you're gonna lean back the option to float those heels, and we're gonna go to those jabs side to side. You can also keep those heels down, those side to side jabs where left and right there is also one. All right, here we go, you guys. It's gonna start those walking planks for a total of eight, there and back, there and back. Two steps there, two steps back, that's already four. Okay, we're gonna go in five. Set up your plank in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, it's one, Two, come back. Three, four, go back. Five, six, come on. Seven, eight, here we go. We jack. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down, bicycle crunches. We got eight left and right. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll it up, tailbone balance. Here we go, jab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and breathe. Woo! Guess what? We got that two more times, but what are we doing? More reps. Yes, this time we got 10 of each. So the only real difference now, adding two to each one, is that now your plank walk is going to end on the other side of your mat. Totally okay, still the same amount of steps, an even number of steps. We've got 10 this time. Let's do it in eight. This is it, well no, this is not it, but we're going to eight this time. Let's, let's set it up in four. 
four, three, hit that plank in two, and one. Here we go. Step, step, that's two. Step, step, that's four. Here's five, six, going to ten. Two more. One and two. We jack. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, bicycle crunches. Two, one, bring it in. Roll it over. Bicycle crunches. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, head, neck, and shoulders up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it up. Find your balance and jab. Jab. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Roll it up. Breathe. And you know it. 12. What else is it going to be? 8, 10, 12. One last round, you guys. And we go straight into cool down. So we are done after this. Breathe. Let's go in 15 seconds. We got that 12 over. So this time, those jacks are going to end back on the same side of our mat that we're starting in. We go in 6, 5. Set up your plank in 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here we go. 1, 2. Go into 12. 3, Four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, here we go, eleven and twelve, plank jacks, out, out, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, yes you can, four, three, bicycles, two, and one, come on down, bicycle pedals, whoo, twelve, eleven, ten, Nine, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, tailbone balance and jab. Two, three, four, lean back more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, and twelve. Release, lay back, drop those heels and lift up bridge, just hold. I'm gonna move my mat so I am in frame better. Keep holding that bridge, keep holding that bridge. Woo. All right, <laughs> hold it right here, breathe. Now in this bridge, just march. Tiny little lift and lower. Lift and lower. We've got eight, seven, keep breathing, six, five, keep those hips up, four, three, two, and one. Drop the hips. Squeeze both knees into the insides of those elbows. I just got a low power notification on my phone. Let me clear that off real quick. Okay, okay. Bring those knees in. Oh. Give yourself a couple of rocks side to side, a little massage of that spine. Now just keep the left knee in and extend that right leg out. I'm gonna have to open up my closet door to give myself space. There we go. I hope y'all can't see the mess in there. Left knee in, right leg extended. Take that left leg across the body. Keep the chest and shoulders lifted. Hold. Good. Let's take it back to neutral. Bring that right knee in. That left leg extends. Hold. <laughs> right leg goes across the body for that spinal twist. Left leg stays extended. Shoulders stay lifted. Chest up. Oh, I just got a little pop. That felt good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, we're going to come up. Roll up however you can get up. Come to that seated position. Take the soles of the feet together and squeeze in. You can kind of... Rock side to side to walk those heels in a little closer to the body. Now use the toes to pull your body down. You should kind of feel those biceps flexing here on that squeeze, that pull. We've got eight in five. Legs are going to extend out in three, two, and one. Legs extend all the way out, and we've got those roll downs. Reach outside of the feet, lift up, pull those elbows in and down. Let's do that one two more times. That lead, reach out. Lift up, elongate through the spine. One more time that way, reach out, up. Now we're gonna reverse direction. Reach up from here, roll down, pull in. Two more, reach up, 
Nice and long lift and breathe. Reach out in. One more, reach out. We're gonna hold that forward fold. Reaching to the toes, tuck the chin, hold. You've got eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna come up to that neutral seated position in three, two, and one. Bring it up and in slowly. Take those arms out, reach, reach, reach. Pull all that good energy down. We are done, you guys. We are finished before that 30 minute mark. My tracker says 28.40. So warm up, six by three strength, core cardio mix, and that cool down all before the 30 minute mark. Happy Monday, you guys. So happy to do this workout with you. Thanks for joining me for it. You guys have a great week. This is Sunday that I'm filming this, but tomorrow, hopefully when you guys are doing this workout, I will be taking my kiddos to their very first overnight camp. So we as a family collectively are all super excited about overnight camp this week for the kiddos. So I will report back to y'all next week on how it all went. Other than that, just hoping that you guys all have a great day ahead, a great week of some awesome workouts together. Look forward to seeing y'all later this week. Have a good one.